I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi guys, it's Saturday. Welcome to RV Travel Quest. Today is just a little bit of working day. We, uh, we're we uh, running some wires along the hose, the uh, heating coils to uh, make sure we don't freeze up. It's starting to freeze. And of course we waited to the last minute. Um, <coughs> there's Cinder. <laughs> she wants to come out, but it's all muddy. We showed you that. The other thing we're doing today, uh, we got we going through a lot more propane, so we got to get a propane tank filled up, and we're flushing the septic tank, so we're emptying it, filling it up again with fresh water, flushing it. We do that about we try to cycle it about three or four times, and uh, we're going to try not to let it get too full with freezing temperatures. Um, we still only have a month before we roll. So, I don't want too much commodities in the tanks. So, that's what's going on so far. And uh, there's a lot more going on this weekend. So, we'll see what happens. Don't have to work all the time. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> okay, I guess it's time to get some propane. So we're getting ready to uh, take the tank over to get refilled and what I did is I've switched this over using a small valve right here and you see it says green that's because that switch turned on the other tank so this one's off. So I disconnected it, the gas is off, took off the strap and we're going to take it out to the truck. Fill her up. Six eight seven. Six point eight seven. Okay. So if you want to let her know when you go in there and then I'll get him. Sounds good. Thank How's you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Hi there. Yeah. Got propane at six point eight seven. Is it a cash or charge? Just cash, please. Awesome. Thank you. I still know those are good. All right, kind sir. So there's Thank you. It's a butterscotch.
we just got this put in. I haven't hooked it up yet. Now I want to remind you, when you pick these up after they've been filled, they're much heavier than they were when they were empty. So always pick them up bending your knees. It's important. So when you look in here, you'll see that this is my connector. And what I try to do is try not to put any pressure against this uh, hose. So I always try to line things up the best I can. So the hose, sorry, the hose is naturally running into the tank without any kinks in it. So once I do that, I'll connect it, then I'll put the straps back on and it's ready to go when I need to use it. And that's all there is to it. Well, we're doing a little bit of a bike ride today after we got our chores done. And Sherry is getting Cinder's backpack, which is in the back of the truck right there. Hopefully we can find it because we haven't used it forever. And what we want to do is um, have her wear it and get kind of used to it. She's never had it on before. So we're going to have her, we also exercise Cinder with our bikes. So we thought it would be a good idea to put that on her today and let her see what it feels like. So I'll show you some pictures as we go here. Get out. Yes, that's yours, baby dog. Yes, it doesn't smell like you. Oh, well, Cinder, you got your pack on. Hey, what you got? Look at you. Ready? Ready? Ready, go. Uh, Cinder got to go for a ride, but a lot of people don't know that you know, we have a cat named Lily. And so every once in a while, when we get some sunshine today, that's a miracle, she gets to come outside. So I'm going to show you what, what we do for her. She's kind of hard to see, but she's got a little harness on. Kitty. Oh, I like the grass. A little family time outside. We got Lily over here and Cinder and Mom. And, uh, it's you know sunshine but 50 degrees out. So we just make do with what you got. So Sherry's gonna try to no. walk, <laughs> walk the cat walk the cat on the leash. She can do it. Come on, give it a try. Go for it. The cat's not going to do it. Hey, kitty. Make her walk. See? She walks. So up here it started out pretty good and then it got about halfway across the cement here and it changed. Here it is. So I thought you were walking the kitty. Kitty, you didn't make. We were trying to get over to the swing set, but that wasn't happening. She's filthy now. You dirty kitty. All right, so she's kind of has her own agenda. <laughs> she says, "Okay, go ahead, walk me. Walk the kitty. Walk the kitty." <laughs> She's walkable. Got to be coaxed a little. You made it. Yeah, she's listening well. Well trained. Cinder says I can do that. Cinder says I can do that. Pretty sure it's safe to assume that our cat's not much of a leash cat. <laughs> but it does get her out of the RV a little bit, so she's having fun. Well, live and learn. Hi there. <laughs> hi, hi, RV travel buddies. So we've been doing all of our errands and got our propane and 
walked the cat or the cat walked us and now what are we gonna do i think we're gonna go to home depot or lowe's and pick up some insulation for our hose for winterizing yep so it just never ends so we're gonna put some insulate we just need two pieces of insulation <laughs> And then we're just going to go out to dinner and goof off. <laughs> and this, you got, anybody want a dog? No. No, you can't have this dog. She's way too cute. So, anything else we got to do? No. Okay. She doesn't do this when we're driving. She just knows she can do it when the engine's off. She's pretty smart. Well, sometimes. <laughs> um, That's debatable. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off, and we'll tie in with you later in the day or tomorrow. <coughs> Great day. What'd you say? What'd you say? Huh? Okay. Well, Cinder said goodbye. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, guys. This is Sunday, and today we're going to do some work on my insulation on my water pipe. So to do that, we want to pull one of our slides in. So let me turn around here. And the slide in the back, way in the back, is the one we want to pull in. So what's really nice about Montana's is we're hydraulic. And I'll come around here, and we have a control panel. Now, when we, you can see right now we have the bed turned on, because that's the slide we were working on earlier. And I'm going to change this, and then we're just going to pull that particular slide in, and the rest will stay out. So here we go. So the other thing we're going to attempt is to do this by remote so supposedly we've never used it before we can control the slides from out here so come around here we picked we think it's this particular setting that controls that slide so we'll find out uh, we found out the battery and the remotes dead of course so we're gonna have to do this manually so Sherry is up at the control panel and she's going to see if we got the right one picked. Let's go for it. Oh my god. We got the right one. I don't want to go any further because I don't want to Yeah. So, we just did that from the control panel. And it worked. So, go to work. Now we're back here with the electrical and I have two things I got to do one is we have a heating element right here plugged in and then down here I've got another heating element down there and the cord is right there so I had to get an extension cord to share one outlet so we're gonna put those in and then then we're gonna wrap up the hose with some insulation so Back to work. We got everything powered up. So what I did is I only had one outlet I could use right there. And I put it into a little shirt guy with multiple plugs. Everything's grounded. One goes to this particular coil. And then this one, I put a six foot cord to control the coil down there. So now we're just going to wrap it up. Okay, so i got the insulation on. I'll let you see what it looks like. It's a insulation you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's and here it is see it down here comes down here and goes to there and the hose going to the RV is already insulated from last year and we have a little bit exposed but it's got coil around it so it should be alright so that was our water project today and we ended up pulling both slides in this one right here and this one and once again it's really nice to have the individual controls to just pull in the slides we want since it's hydraulic so there you go okay now we got this electrical nightmare and if you ever notice our septic drain is a nightmare too It's actually uphill so we don't drain that well so it's kind of a pain so uh, we just do the best we can. <laughs> the problem is, is 
our Montanas have a boom system, and so that kind of starts us out kind of funny. But the boom system is really great when the, the septic isn't 25 feet away. Anyway, in a minute here, our slides should be coming out. There we go. And it sounds like it's time to lubricate them again. Here comes the other one. And done deal. And that concludes this project. Okay, now we're all done with our projects today. We can start relaxing. Um, I wanted to show you something. We got Cinder. Cinder, come here. If you notice, she's got a brand new pink collar. All pretty. Let's see if we can see it. <laughs> Let me show it very well. Anyway, Cinder, uh, if you didn't know, Cinder's got a chip in her. If we ever had a problem losing her. She's not a runner, a runner though. She also has a tag with our phone number on it. With her name. And also her rabies shots. She's totally up to date. So, uh, anyway, just telling you a little bit more about Cinder. I want to thank all you guys for watching RV Travel Quest. Uh, it is an all work. <laughs> we do play. We just kind of show you the uh, ins and outs of having an RV. So please take the time to subscribe and like our videos. And please share them if you would. And everybody, what are you waiting for? Bye now.